Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. So let's begin by sounding the pranava all together, the sound of the om. This is Yoga Flow Studio, and um, we've been here for 12 years. So we're really excited because today, my first yoga teacher ever is coming to do a workshop here. So her name is Beryl Bender Birch, and she has written many books. Probably people ha uh, may be familiar with the book Power Yoga, um, but she has two books beyond that. One is called Beyond Power Yoga, and then her latest book, Boomer Yoga. She's gonna do a three-hour workshop and focus on the practice that she, she, uh, she does, which is Ashtanga Yoga, she talks about how life and yoga are not something separate, really, and, and that's our philosophy here, too, with all our teachers. You know, we, we usually give a little talk at the beginning of our classes and emphasize how yoga is not just a physical practice, it's a way of life. And in her book, she really does go into that and explain how that could be. We're going to be doing Boomer Yoga here at Yoga Flow today. So I'm really happy to be here. And as you can see, we have a wonderful group of students waiting to do um, asana practice and talk about the methodology of classical yoga. Boomer Yoga technically is for people between the ages of 46 and 64, but um, it's a good workout. Some people have been doing yoga, and as they get older, they find there are some things they can't do, but there, you know, there are th some things they can do. If you're older and you've never done yoga and you've had an athletic life, you're probably pretty tight. Yoga can help, but you don't want to jump into a 90-minute class and try and knock yourself out. The practice of asana, which everybody is kind of enamored with, you know, especially if you do a strong asana practice because of the athleticism, um, people get focused on asana, but asana is really meant to be a gateway into the whole methodology of yoga, which leads us into meditation and quieting the mind and being present and really understanding who we truly are as opposed to identifying with our stuff and our profession and our families and as I got older I wanted to make sure that people perhaps who hadn't started yoga as early as I did who were in their late 30s and 40s and 50s and on were able to come into yoga as well. I love the, this yoga studio it's great and I love Lorraine in particular so I'm happy to participate in a class like this. It's great stretching and I really need that and it stretches your mind too and I need that also. I am a student of Lorraine's and I come to this studio regularly. Lorraine is the best of the best and I'm fortunate and we are all fortunate to have someone of that caliber on Long Island. Yoga was a bullseye for me. It's what I've always been looking for from my history of dance into fitness and then when I discovered yoga I went aha this is everything. I'm learning from a master who I've never met before, and yet I've heard of her forever. And being that she was the teacher of my teacher, I'm so honored to meet her and to experience her. She started when yoga was not big at all, and nobody really knew much about yoga. And she started on this journey, and um, she really kept to the, to the path and to her truth. You know, yoga's gotten to be so popular that uh, it's easy for you know people to get caught up in all of that, the physicality and, and um, everything else that's happening, the fashion, and she's really stayed true to the path and true to herself. What do you do when you get in tight situations like that? You know, what does our practice teach us? What is there to do except to say, this is where I am right now, and this is the reality. I've sort of been on the path since 1971 and just wrote about what I was doing and wrote about the practice that I was doing. You know you sell a few books and people like them and you sell a few more and you sell a few more. It was kind of a word of mouth slow uh, you know growth of yoga. It kind of coincided with the with the big explosion of, of an interest in yoga in the United States. 
It's just an inspiration to have another woman that's strong and powerful and has a lot of integrity and um, is living her life as a yogi.